time I want to introduce someone that does not need an introduction here in southeastern Oklahoma. It's a bright future, a great, even greater future for the Choctaw Nation here in the ten and a half counties under his leadership. He's young enough to be aggressive. He's opened up to use sound judgment. Come forward, Chief, and tell us. Well, Holly, too. Greetings from the Choctaw Nation, and uh, it is indeed an honor to be here tonight. And uh, all I can say is, wow. I mean, I think about, Charlotte, how many years ago was that we met Rebecca? Our fifth annual. This is our fifth annual. Five years ago, well, there was about seven of us that met in Antlers, Oklahoma, and said, hey, we're trying to sell our water. And so we all came together, and uh, to me, to, to be able to go from that to having over 10,000 members strong today, to even be talking about education, water conservation, in-stream flows, all those things. That was never talked about before. It was because this group right here, and believe it or not, they have put a lot of time and effort. I call them Matushka Oka, which I don't know if you know in Choctaw, Tushka is warrior, Oka is water, so there are water warriors, and I think you need to give this a big round of applause. Just to <laughs> and I know that was seven years ago. I think Chuck is, and uh, Don and Charlotte has been fighting this battle for uh, many years. And so uh, I just appreciate them. Representative Brennan, I know that's been. And Senator Ellis, thank you for the many years of service and fighting to keep our water here in southeastern Oklahoma. And I'm glad that the Choctaw Nation, we support ORWP. I'm a member of ORWP. And I'm a fan of making sure that our water stays here in southeastern Oklahoma and uh, so that we can better our lives for our kids, for our grandkids. I keep telling people, you know, if you look at Oklahoma City 100 years ago, did you think it'd be that big today? Well, I look today, uh, Mayor Tomlinson, uh, we did a uh, topping out ceremony out here south of town at our new casino. And uh, we're adding uh, 268 rooms, four movie theaters. Uh, we're looking at a laser tag, uh, uh, over 100,000 square foot of conference center. And it's going to take water to make sure that that's a success. And that's dollars that's generated here. That's more than 300 people that's going to be uh, employed here in southeastern Oklahoma. So I think southeastern Oklahoma could be the new Oklahoma City in the future. I mean, we are going to be uh, forced to reckon with, or the Choctaw Nation, we're in the process of developing our own tourism right now, and uh, we're calling it Choctaw Country, and we're wanting all the people to come and visit southeastern Oklahoma, and I, I know I tell everybody this, I'm kind of a hypocrite when it comes to this, because I love the way we live in southeastern Oklahoma, but at the same time, I want my kids and my grandkids to have opportunities, so we need to get those people uh, that come here, spend their dollars here, and uh, but that's what it's all about, is making sure that we create a better way of life. And because it is, that's what a good water management plan, it's what a lake level management plan is about securing a good way of life for our children and for our grandkids. And that's what this whole piece is all about, and I cannot say how much I appreciate this board and everybody for what they're doing. And believe it or not, they have really pushed to help us get legislation passed to conserve water. Uh, I think about even the Choctaw Nation, uh, they pushed us. We have at least two or three people in our own department now that looks at how we can manage water better. We're thinking about how we can manage air quality better. Those things were not being discussed four or five years ago. And it's again because this group and you know, all of you have come together and made this uh, a significant impact in southeastern Oklahoma. So on behalf as chief of the Choctaw Nation, I just want to say Yako Ki, Chito, big thank you very much for what you do. And uh, I'd like for the mayor to come up, if you don't mind, and welcome this group here to uh, our city here in, in Grand, our headquarters of the Choctaw Nation. But if y'all would, let's give a warm welcome to the Thompson. That was unexpected, Chief. But Alito again, uh, greetings from uh, our great community of Durant, Oklahoma. I know many have traveled here this evening. Grateful for safe travel. We 
get you all safe travel back home. Uh, You know, um, water is going to be the main topic for the next several years. We can talk about economic development, we can talk about many, many other things, quality of life, that we want to provide for our kids and grandkids. We just heard the great chief uh, speak directly to that. But that's what we're about here in our community. And I know that that's what it's the Simpson is about. And others are all about, uh, and that's certainly what this community is about. We've had an opportunity to uh, uh, have a critical measure uh, come up in 2011 regarding the uh, Great Blue River. And so we, we understand the significance of, of, a, of a reliable water source. And so we want to be a part. That, that great resource. Again, thank you, Chief. And, uh, thank you for what you do. Thank you all for what you do. And welcome to our new facility. Uh, we still call it this. It's two or four years old now. It's still new to us. And, uh, wonderful facility. Thank you all for coming. And, uh, again, on behalf of the citizens of Durant, I shall uh, welcome. Here and uh, just in uh, closing, I think uh, Charlotte and all of them, when, I, when we started this battle a few years ago, I think I still had air in, if, if I remember right. But it's been a good fight, though. And uh, if later on, if you're not doing anything and uh, you want to go contribute to our education fund, so the town here, feel free to go down and uh, partake and enjoy. But no, just uh, again on behalf of the Choctaw Nation and the City of Grant, thank you all for working. Thank you all for coming out, and this is a worthwhile fight. Thank you, and God bless for all that you do.